Hello everybody, it's Meg here. Um, this screencast is directed to teachers um, and the purpose of the screencast is to show you how to use a report that we created and this report will allow you to look up every behavioral referral that you have submitted um, through this school year. So you can see everything that you were the person that submitted the behavior referral. You can have it all in like one list so you can see everything. It'll show you what the behavior referral was as well as the outcome. And if the outcome is blank, it's because it has not been processed yet. Um, but it'll show you all that information just on one piece of paper. So I'm going to show you how to get to it. And I this video is going to take us just up to the point of like clicking on the actual report just because I don't want to put student data um, and all that stuff kind of in the online environment. So I'm going to take you all the way up to getting the report and then you can go try it for yourself and see what yours says. All right. So when you log in, um, you'll notice I'm logged in as a teacher right now. Um, when you log in, you're usually um, at campus instruction. So you see your grade book and attendance and all that kind of stuff. We're going to flip over to the other side. Remember to do that. We use the tic-tac-toe icon in the upper right corner. So you click on that and we're going to go to campus tools. Now from here, um, we're looking for, um, you see you have all the information that you're used to seeing. Um, we're looking for ad hoc reporting. It might be closed, so if it's closed, go ahead and open it up, and then we're going to look for data export, and go ahead and click on that. Um, you may see more than one group. Um, if you're, this teacher that I'm logged in at right now is a high school teacher, so they see the OHS group, that's the current year high school group, and then they also see the teacher group. This report, this behavior report, is under the teacher group, so no matter what building you're currently in, you'll be able to see it there. So we're going to open up teacher. So remember, we went ad hoc reporting, then data export, and then teacher. And we see referrals. Um, and consequences for user. Um, so we're going to click here. Then it's going to have us pick, pick an export format. Um, so we can decide if we want it to be um, what kind of format we want it to come back with. I would recommend that you're probably going to want PDF. Um, this will just give you a static list that has everything that you and all the information you need, all the student names, the behavior referral date, the behavior, what the behavior referral was for, and the resolution. Um, if you were planning on doing something with this information, like organizing it differently or something like that, you could. I would also recommend CSV. So CSV or PDF on, and you just click your your um, format that you want, and then just go ahead and click export. Again, um, I'm not going to click it right now just because I don't want that live student data to be out on the internet. But what this report shows you is student name, the date of the referral, what the referral was for, and the resolution if the resolution has already been given to that um, referral. Um, and it'll show you everything and it's only the referrals that you submitted. So if for some reason the security personnel, um, another teacher submitted a referral on your behalf, you won't see it on your report. Um, they'll see it on their report instead. Um, Okay, so just to review really quick, because I know sometimes I talk really quickly on these videos, sorry about that. Um, you're gonna go into tools, and then from tools, it's gonna be ad hoc reporting, data exports, open up the teacher folder, click on the actual um, report name, referrals and consequences for user, decide how you want it. I would recommend PDF, and then hit export, and you'll have all that information ready to go for you. Um, as always, if you have any questions about this report or anything else, please feel free to email me at msomerville at euclidschools.org. Um, and have a great day. Thanks.